remember who I was talking to, but at some point someone had asked me, uh, I follow Gary V. Gary V on Snapchat has these awesome Gary V personalized. Gee, I wonder who that was. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> anybody who loves Gary V, talk to me. Um, but uh, they, it's it, and it's very process you use one of their um they actually have templates that you can use so you could use this for a specific event like if you're oh my gosh this is gonna be huge for weddings <laughs> is what i'm the first thing i'm thinking of and it's gonna be massive you know oh look it's you know some sort of hashtag of the married couple's name like meshing together or something and um you can design your own geo filter and you select the area it goes in and uh, the one they selected was for about, a, I believe, a month, and it was $200, which is pretty reasonable. It's not bad. If you're a company or yeah. something. Yeah. And they said it took about five minutes to get everything up and running. And uh, now anybody in their area, their little area that they set up, uh, was, what, 2,100 square feet? Yeah. Oh, wow. And it actually, like, pulls up a tool or from that. Or sorry. Yeah. Uh, that, that, so, so the geo filter like, works around that. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. Wait for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> for five. and you get a little update. That's great. Yes, yeah, so this is this is really cool. I'm really like, for example, I work for Scarehouse, and this will be awesome. In, you know, for the months that we're open, mm -hmm. to be able to have people tag their photos that they're here. You know, have some fun with some filters. That's <laughs> perfect. Or even seeing like you know around Pot Camp Pittsburgh or mm -hmm. any other event that that you do around the area. Uh, it'd be great to have one for Podcast Day. <laughs> <laughs> uh but i don't know so uh, so is it is it mostly like for an area or like can i do one for like hey it's a national you know whatever day no it's it's just their specific geo area so, whatever so they, your, just the geo stuff yeah and i'm sure in the larger you make the area the more it's going to cost it's you good, it's going to be expensive so it's cost so there you go that's how they're going to make money yeah oh, it's, it's it's been, you know they were trying to figure out how to monetize this thing and this is a great revenue stream because i like, guess 200 bucks is not bad at all no no, yeah. on a company. I mean, as far as like us doing it, no, yeah, it's I mean, a little prohibitive. Wise, it's yeah. not. I yeah. mean, personally, I, I don't. I mean, I'm not Gary Vee, obviously. But <laughs> I mean, I think it'd be fun. You know, I'm going to go home and make one of my cat, of course. And when mm. you come to my house, you can Snapchat yourself with my cat, no matter where she's at. So there's no function for like just a regular user to make one without paying, like for their own photos no. or something like that. So no, that's interesting. Yeah, the only ones that you can, they're called geo filters at this right, point. Right, right. And um, they're just specific areas. And maybe eventually we might be able to. I need